Right, so you Aquarius pretty much uh, have been really paying attention. The reason why it is and I'm saying that is because the Knight of Wands, the Temperance, and the Knight of Cups. So these three cards right here is about how you Aquarius have been applying everything that you've learned here. And um, a lot of you have been gaining success, if not necessarily by getting into a relationship, right? But also by staying away from people who would be a problem to you because that's just as important. That's just as important. You don't wanna end up being with a lunatic that all they do is stress you out at the end of the day. You also wanna make sure that your life is as drama free as possible, right? So that's exactly what it is that a lot of you Aquarius have been doing. Uh, the Temperance and the Knight of Cups right here is about how a lot of you very much so can uh, uh, end up being uh, quite intelligent right around now, okay? Right now, and I wanna say up until September, is pretty much around the best time, especially in July. It's pretty much around the best time for you to actually really take your time and get to know somebody, okay? Because July is like late June, July is around when the, like, the, the cold weather breaks and it's not, um, that spring weather anymore it's actually summer around this time and when that's that's when that cold breaks where it's just warm weather uh straight through right because of it right so it's so a lot of times you'll be surprised at how a lot of people don't come outside when it's cold right uh the weather really does affect how people can come outside that's that's one uh, piece of it and then not only that too but also why that's important is because warm weather and, and summertime is, is generally the best time to actually link up because everybody's outside. I'm outside, everybody's outside. So the thing is, is that um, a lot of you Aquarius have been looking, right? You've been trying to get to know other people. And um, the Two of Wands and the Three of Cups, right? Represents how um, The exes have been looking. So a lot of you Aquarius, you've been hot. You've been, you, people have been wanting you. They've been wanting to get close to you. The reason why I'm saying that is because pretty much, let's go through it, the Six of Cups, okay? I've skipped over some cards, but you have the Six of Cups. This is a person that you, that you know, that you used to hang out with romantically, trying to get their foot back in the door, trying to say what's up to you. And around this time, it's okay because you Aquarius pretty much already found somebody else. So you're already talking to somebody else. So they look real stupid. And, and you're gonna find out why within this reading because the Two of Wands and the Three of Cups is about them pretty much thinking quite a lot. There's always some nonsense going on, but it's pretty much them It's pretty much them uh, thinking quite a lot about you and really thinking about if they decided to come back, would you Aquarius actually take them back, right? And that's what's so crazy about it. it, it what's crazy is the fact that you Aquarius really see it for what it is. Like this person really uh, squandered their opportunity to really be with you, you know? And like it is that I said before, you know, a lot of times people think that, you know, an Aquarius can be real cold and stuff like this. That's not, that's true, but that's not necessarily always the case. You know, it really depends upon the situation and it depends upon where, where the Aquarius actually is as far as the time in their life. Um, Aquarius can end up really loving you just as close as a, and be quite as attached as a Taurus can be. And anyone who's ever been in a relationship with the Taurus, you know how attached the Taurus could be. They will put a tracking device on you. They wanna know everywhere where you are. Believe me, my brother's a Taurus. I know plenty of Taurus. They wanna know where your location is. They do. So if an Aquarius can be just as intense as far as love with a, a Taurus, that goes to show y'all 
what it is that I'm talking about, right? And I'm sure y'all know, because I'm talking to you, uh, Aquarius. So the thing is right here is, is that, like I said, this person's coming in, trying to figure out what you got going on, right? Now let's get to it. The Eight of Wands and the, uh, the Eight of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, and the Six of Cups right here is, but by this time, you Aquarius don't want, you don't, not only do you not want this person back, you're already getting to know somebody else. And I'm going to tell you why. So this person is already like, they're coming back, trying to see what's going on with you. And this is what I mean when I say that a lot of you Aquarius are very much so wanted because this person had their opportunity to see the reason why it is that they're coming back is because to them, it's all a part of their game. People who have this delusional mindset, they don't ever actually let go of the people who they've actually dated. What they do is they usually squander they usually squander their relationships, they wreck it, and then what they do is is that they like to essentially keep a, like I said, a tracking device. They like to keep track of the people who they've been in a relationship with, the ones that they like the most. So what it seems like is it seems like this person never actually fully makes up their mind as to whether or not they're really in a full relationship or not. This is where the partially where the confusion is, right? So anytime you see someone <coughs> coming back, they don't really want to let go. Sometimes they could still be in the background. And then sometimes they, they will leave you alone but then sometimes they'll still be in the in the background. You feel what I'm saying? So, so as a result, like you'd be surprised at how many people stalk other people, right? This is why it is I use the word stalk in my in my titles because you would be surprised at how many people probably stalk you, Aquarius. You'd be surprised. Do you understand on a worldwide level how many people get stalked daily, worldwide? More, I tell you that probably more than 8 million people worldwide or more, no, excuse me, more than 8 million people worldwide on a, on a daily basis. That means every day gets stalked in some shape, form or fashion. You understand what I'm saying? So don't be surprised. Don't be surprised if this ex is doing the same thing to you. Because effectively, that's what it is when they're coming around and they're not really letting you go. It's, it's, it's essentially they're not really letting you go. It's stalking because they're constantly trying to find out what you're up to, what you're doing, what's going on. Now, granted, the two of you, they, they can't seem to actually be able to be to be functional enough to be in a relationship with you, Aquarius, for damned. But at the same time, they just want to be in your presence and but a la carte dating the way that they want to. And why that's important is because the Eight of Wands, you Aquarius don't have the time for that. You have your life to live like I was talking about, like I've been talking about. That's correct. So because you Aquarius are living your life, you have the Nine of Wands and the Lovers. That's why as I said that you're getting to know other people. It's because, well, um, the eight of wands, right? Your ability to actually let go of the situation, let go of the X, let go of them and you're moving forward, right? The eight, the eight of wands, y'all know, y'all know what I noticed about the eight of wands, right? And then you have the lovers. The seven of wands and the lovers represents this person who's trying to come back will try to even make it seem like nobody loves you the way that they love you. Nobody cares the way that they care about you or whatever. But that's a misnomer because you have the lovers. The per the, they love you, but you Aquarius probably already have somebody that you're talking to. So it's like that pretty much really puts a damper on the talking point that they had because it's like, and usually there really is a damper usually on the talking points that they have because by the time they finish telling you how trash you Aquarius are, you re through experience, 
you come to realize that's not true. That's not true at all. You know how many times in my life I've been called trash? And people who I'm going out with telling me I'm not going to succeed. I'm never going to succeed. I ain't squat. All of this, all of this like crazy stuff. All of this, I'm not going to succeed. Same thing with you. And guess what happened? You, Aquarius, succeeded, didn't you? All of this, all of this nonsense, all of this. So, so you succeeded. This person legitimately had their chance, Aquarius. That's one of the things I love about y'all. Y'all really gave them a chance to shine. You gave this ex a chance to shine. And what did they, what did they do? They squandered their opportunity. Now you Aquarius are like, listen, you took your time to heal. You're moving forward, getting to other people. This is this is about you. This is your time to shine, Aquarius. Y'all are having fun. This is about you. What happened? Now all of a sudden, right? The Six of Cups, the X is back. They want to know what's going on with you. Why? Because they haven't heard from you. They haven't heard from you probably in a couple of months, two months, three, two to three months. They ain't called you in two to three months. And in those two to three months, a lot has happened, I'm sure. We're, we're in July. So basically, the majority of the year is done. Right? Basically. Anyway, you Aquarius have been changing. A lot could happen. And a lot has happened within two to three months. But it's this, and, but when people do pull these types of stunts, right? It's usually a means of trying to get you to be more attracted by allowing you to see their value by not being there. But this is why it is that I say that playing them type of games usually end up being lame and boring at the end of the day because essentially it's 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 there is no path it's an it's it's an end you know i can't say the word you know but it's an end it's a it's a wall there is no real progression there is no going anywhere right so let's clarify the the lovers the eight of pentacles the ten of cups the Ace of Wands, the Five, yeah, of Swords. I'm getting it together. Six of Wands. So to, to clarify the lovers. So the Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, yeah, somebody else just got their time. They should have been taking you Aquarius much more seriously. They did, but they didn't. And now it's their fault that they are missing you. They wouldn't have to miss you if they would, wouldn't have played the game. And like I said before, you Aquarius, y'all are already getting to know other people. As you Aquarius should have been doing. And you are. And I'm glad about, for y'all. I really am. I really am glad for y'all because, you know, you should never, y'all should never allow someone to squander your, your opportunities and really get y'all down in the dumps and all of that. You should never allow someone to do that and have you just down and whatnot. That time that you are down should be that time where you're healing so you're down to heal right never because you down and you're gonna stay there you're not gonna change you're not gonna grow forget about all of that the ace of wands and the five of swords is about because you Aquarius are not done yet five of swords they ruin things for themselves. They they let them do it. Let them be. Let those exes be dysfunctional. You Aquarius just concentrate on what's going on in front of you right now. The six of wands moving forward, enjoying your life, brand new people to get to know. Amazing time to be alive for a lot of y'all. Amazing time. And and not only that too, but. As of right now, things are going well. Y'all are wanted on top of all of that. So it's not like you Aquarius are just giving and, and you're not getting anything in return. No, you are wanted there. You are accepted 
whomever it is that you're hanging out with. So I want you to know that. Peace.